There are few things in life that are as sweet as the beauty and fragrance of a rose. The Potomac Rose Society has been serving rose lovers in suburban Maryland, Northern Virginia, and the District of Columbia for over 85 years. We host a series of lectures and demonstrations, garden tours, and rose exhibitions for enthusiasts that want to grow healthy, beautiful roses with or without the use of synthetic chemicals. Come see what's blooming at the Potomac Rose Society. walks of life, united by one thing, love the roses. We don't take ourselves very seriously at all. We do have some fun things that we do, and uh, we think you'd enjoy being a part of this. So growing roses without chemicals, uh, choosing better roses. Um, if, so if you're not going to spray, it would be about choosing roses that are hybridized towards disease resistance. Which is yeah, yeah. The most important thing I learned about these roses is the vast variety of roses that come on the market. Because I was under the impression there weren't too many roses that were disease resistant. We have an expert here who's been sending the message out broadly, and now I think slowly and slowly we'll be able to, to attract more people to rose growing, hopefully. Yeah. Don't be scared. Yeah. <laughs> Every year, we invite rose lovers to have a more intimate learning experience through guided tours in our favorite public gardens. And whether it's a, a grandiflora, a floribunda, or whatever. Or what your favorites are for like... All right, I, that's a lot much easier question. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite has always been from the very beginning, the Double Delight that's down here. Uh -huh. So should and, we go see it? Yeah. Can you also tell us Roger and next month, we invite you to join us for our second annual Mid-Atlantic Symposium on Disease-Resistant Roses, June 3rd at the Silver Spring Library, featuring Gay Hammond, a nationally recognized consulting rosarian and past president of the Houston Rose Society, along with a very special discussion with American Rose Society president, Pat Shanley. I accepted the challenge. They are very challenging uh, to grow, and you just kind of get pulled in to the love of them, the blossom, the challenge of, of, of growing them, and this year it has just been really, really special in the best garden yet. Potomac Rose Society is the oldest rose society in this area, and uh, so uh, I knew that uh, I could learn a lot and be with people who had a similar, uh, you know, fascination with roses. Disease-resistant roses are the wave of the future of gardening. 